Hello everyone, welcome to Career Talk once again. Today I am going to address a very important problem which is why somebody with the same skills, same expertise and same experience level getting paid differently. So let's say you are a Java developer or a software engineer or a tester or a business analyst or a project manager with same skill, experience and expertise, why are people getting paid differently? Okay, one reason is of course the job hops that we all know of, but there are several other reasons which I am going to tell you in this video today. But before I move ahead, the number of subscribers on this channel are 7,923 at the time of making this video. So consider subscribing and hit the bell button on for future references. Alright, so the reason why primarily some people earn more is the industry okay the industry in which they belong and we know you know service industry versus product industry we know infosys tcs wipro etc we know amazon google facebook and we know you know software engineers working in both these sectors are getting paid differently irrespective of their abilities being same okay and the reason is the paying capacity right you know one industry's paying capacity is different than the other service industry has a different way of earning money product industry has a different way of earning money and that's why their ability to pay is also different but now you know it is not just about service and product it is also about startups it is also about unicorns okay these people have just changed the game and then there are these big four consulting firms as well you know the likes of deloitte pwc e and y right so there are you know, consulting companies as well and then there are investment banks or other banks you know morgan stanley you know uh, jp morgan chase douche bank standard chartered and whatnot so there is a wide spectrum of you know sectors in which you belong so you may belong to a service industry and a, being a software engineer but you can always switch okay but at the same time you need to keep in mind that for the first few years it is okay but after a while it really matters that what is your core expertise okay not just as a developer or as a technical person that is a must but again what is your domain expertise what is your business knowledge have you really worked for five years or six years in the banking industry and you understand all the banking processes so that along with technical you also understand the functionality or have you worked in insurance sector and understand it well or you have worked in manufacturing industry and understand it well so along with technical if you bring in functional expertise that's a lethal combination okay in the long run such people are in demand and you know nobody wants to let go such people so keep that in mind uh, that's a very important aspect industry that you work for if you switch there is a big plus if you maintain your or grow your functional knowledge along with technical knowledge that is also a big plus not just for developers but also for testers business analysts it's all the more important and also for project managers if you are just a generalist project manager people will replace you one fine day but if you are technical project manager or technical plus functional again uh, it becomes all the more uh, in demand skill okay uh, that combination itself right now other than these skills there is a soft skill segment also which is your behavioral skill which is your attitude which your uh, ability to grow ability to influence people ability to uh, lead large teams okay ability to network people okay within the organization outside the organizations all of that so this is something like if you are an engineer or a bca or mca you won't know in the early days but over a period of time it can be groomed the good news is that it can be groomed okay and at a certain point in time you may want to become a technical architect or a solution architect or a project manager program manager product manager these soft skills this set of skills become extremely important okay these are like the must have skills after a while okay so keep all these things in mind for the long run okay i just wanted to pass this message that it is not just about job hops it is about knowing where you're working it is about understanding where you are going and making those uh, learnings and changes on the go okay i hope you liked it uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not done it already i'll see you in another video very soon let me know your thoughts and comments till then take care bye